Hello, in this video we're looking at the exponential family, specifically the binomial distribution with fixed n is part of the exponential family. Now, this is a follow-up video from a video I did finding the mean and the variance of a generic exponential family. And want to show that the techniques that we did in, in the generic case also hold for the fixed case. And in this video we showed that if the distribution or probably mass function can be written as one of these forms, it's considered the exponential family. And the second form here is called the canonical form that really helps us out in finding the mean and the variance of our sufficient statistic. So let's look at the binomial distribution which is written like this. And it takes on values of 0 through n with this probability when you plug in that the value. Uh, now we want to start transforming this to make it look like one of these distributions. So we take the e and the log of everything and so we get this piece here and then the log of the multiplication is the sum of the logs and then this exponent we can take out front that exponent we can take out front then we can multiply this log times the minus x and then times the n and the, the piece to the n comes down to here and here well, we really didn't need to take the exponential and the log, so it just comes back out. And so we have x times this and minus x times that. If we factor out an x, then we have the log of p minus the log of 1 minus p, and that means divide. And so we get this uh, distribution here. So now, this is in the exponential form. Here, this is your h of x. And this is your eta of p, which is this piece here. Your sufficient statistic is x, and the log partition is negative n log 1 minus p. Now it's negative because it needs to be a negative to be in, in the form that we want. Now to put it in canonical form, instead of calling this log of p1 minus p, we just call it eta. And that's what this is. But then we need to make the log partition you know come back to this and you have to find that form and well this is the form where you know that's the eta and you know we defined eta as log of p1 minus p and of course this is the log partition here and that's what we're going to use to find the mean and the variance of our sufficient statistic so here to find the mean of our sufficient statistic uh, which was x, so it's e to the x. You take the derivative of the log partition with respect to eta. And we said that eta was this, n log 1 plus e to the eta. And then whenever there's a log, you have to take the 1 over, and then you take the derivative of whatever's in here, and you come up with this. Now we put back in what eta is, and eta was log of p over 1 minus p. So when the e and the log cancel, just leaving the p over 1 minus p. And the same way here, we get this. Now, if we combine these fractions, you know, 1 minus p over 1 minus p, and the, the p's cancel, we get 1 over 1 minus p, those cancel, we get np. And we know np is the mean of a binomial, so this, the technique works. Now to find the variance of our sufficient statistic, it, uh, variance of x, you take the second derivative of the log partition, which is this. Now we found the derivative once here, so we just need to take the derivative of that. And then the derivative of this, we, uh, oh, I like writing it just getting one eta so I multiply everything by e to the minus eta and we get this and then I bring this up and there's there's shortcuts on way to do this you don't have to use this step here that's just kind of the way my mind thinks and then we take the derivative of that the minus one comes out front and then it's you know raised to the minus two times the derivative of the inside and we get this 
Now combine all that and you get this. And then I like to change that positive or the negative back to a positive. So it's e to the 2 eta over e to the 2 eta. And then that goes in and becomes this. That can go inside the squared and become this. Now we plug in what we know for eta. And, and actually you could just plug it in here and you'll get the same thing. Um, so now we just get this and you plug in log of here you and uh, combine the one and you get this and it's squared so one of those cancels with none of that but we're left with one and then it's NPQ which we know as the variance of a binomial distribution well that's all I have for today hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one thanks bye